everyone, welcome back to the farm. So yeah, it's just nice there, having a little tea break. It's very nice in there, it really is. But today we're going to be doing something else. We're going to be brown bailing today for Harry. We have to wrap the other ones first. And I've got another tractor. You guys are probably thinking, Prentice Vlogs and Gaming, you're going absolutely crazy about these tractors. I kind of am, yeah, but I, I'm getting the money because, you know, Harry's telling me about them and he's buying me loads just because of how well I'm working for them. One of them may be sold. I don't think this one because it's very nice. And I don't want to sell the 4440, it's too good. The Massey Ferguson might have to go. It might have to. We still haven't thought about it yet. But this is the new tractor here. Came like this. Got from an auction. Harry did. Just for me doing so well at the farm. He just gives me loads of tractors. He's going absolutely mad. So yeah, this is what it's like. There's no sides on her. You don't really need the sides. Yeah, she's really nice looking. See everything is there. Nothing has fell off. Haven't stored her yet. Yep, starts fine. She's very nice inside. And yeah, we've got a single bale lifter. Yeah, Harry wants the bales lifted with a single bale lifter. A double bale lifter is too much for the field, he says. Because the bales can put weight in the back of the tractor and then cause it to get stuck. The field is okay, he says. It's not the best ever, but he says it's alright. But it would do with some more drying out. But at least today we can mow. I mean, not mow, but we can wrap the bales and collect some. Anyway, I need to move my mower. The, what's the 4440? See, I was going to rope the other field until I had the phone call when I was on my tea break. Right, we'll get this mower moved. In fact, I'll have to check how much fuel this tractor has with my thing again. A wee fuel meter. Well, it's not really a fuel meter. We can use it on tractors and all that. It's mainly for fields. You know, checking the uh, water and all that, like, you know, moisture and all that and stuff. And how far back's that? Yeah, it'll do fine. Because I don't want the back flap going through the, you know, the roof. Well, the side, back of the shed, I should say. So, yeah, I'll just check it real quick here. Diesel is okay, 58 litres. Not too bad. And anyway, I'll put away that. See, that's the John Deere's daily use. Now, we're not using the 4440 today. Should be alright in this entrance way. Should be fine. We're going to be using, well, probably not the Massey for the bail lifter. That's a bit too optimistic. I was hoping to use a wee New Holland. On it. You see this is a double bale after here. It's very heavy when it has two bales on it. See we'll just get the bale after attached now. Just one out of time. Might be better having it attached now because well in case I drive over it or something. Plus it's <laughs> quite minute. It really is minute. See, I'm just going to put it side of here, tidy the place up a bit. Mm. Yeah, I can get it in that way, that's good. Anyway, let's get this reversed and we'll drive off. And yeah, the exhaust pipe is on that side there, if you're wondering. So it's not too old just yet. Yeah, just push the door shut there so it is. So yeah, it's, it's kind of modern. It's not that old. And zinc. And she's a Lamborghini tractor. It's quite rare that you see one of these. I hardly see any. You know, about here and all that. Yeah, she's really nice though. You can see this side here. Oh, put myself in the wall there. 
Yeah, it's a pretty nice tractor, pretty decent. Um, does she have beacons? I never got looking. Oh, she does, good. Beacons! You can't have a tractor without the beacons. You definitely cannot have a tractor without the beacons. But yeah, I know some vintage tractors don't have beacons like that Massey. But it's good having beacons. Beacons are good. Hashtag beacons for tractors. <laughs> I'm making a joke of that. Yeah, this tractor does sound really nice. Full tank of diesel. She was filled up before she was sold to me, obviously. Well, technically, Harry and I give it to me. He's moved from a silos trailer anyway. I still have to bring it back. He's probably wondering where am I? Like, why am I not getting it? Anyway, this track here is really bumpy. So yeah, we've got right few bales here. Well, I could really feel the tractor going down a bit there. It's done no damage to the field. That's good. It's just went down just a bit slightly. Anyway, get that unfolded. By the way, this is for the bale flipper. The bale sits there and that flips it over onto its side. What do you call it? Don't know. In its bottom or something. And then, yeah, it's just... That bar is there to stop it from rolling off a hill or anything like that. Got a full roll of foil. Yep, should be alright. Hopefully we don't need to refill. But if I do, I've got a box at the farm, so yeah. I can always refill it if I need to. Refill it, sorry, just put on a new roll, I should say. Yep, let that wrap away. Now I'll get to the next field. And yeah. We'll just continue on doing this. He wants the bales in that shed there, so at least I know where to put them. Just that big shed there. Not the small one. In fact, hang on. Did he say the small one? Yeah, he did say the small one. Yeah, the big ones for other things. Anyway, that's that done. See, it tilts the bale over to its bottom, so... Yeah, it's a very clever system. And yeah, Harry did go around with the book rake, putting, you know, just getting missed bits into the swath so I can pick it up again. I can tell you he's done one good job. Really is using that wrapping. I shouldn't have to re, you know, get an R with us. I'm going to say refill again, which doesn't make sense. Yeah, hopefully I don't need any wrapping or anything. Like, you know, any more wrapping. Oh, bales. Go in the bit. Gonna have to be careful with this fact I'll fold it up. Keep the wee metal boy out. That back down again. And get over here. And hopefully now it should be alright. That's perfect. Brilliant. See so yeah, how I'll continue with this. And I'll see you guys when we're done. really good good so far no breakdowns whatsoever oh dear moved it a bit that'll be all right yeah moved itself over just with that wee prong there don't know if it's called a prong probably not but yep yeah, that's the final bale oh whoa whoa oh my goodness how silly was i i didn't even notice that bale well, at least the bale wrapper's alright, it should be. I hope it is. I really hope. Yep, bar is fine. Yeah, it looks fine, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's all good. Alright. There we go. There we are. So, yeah. Done 
doing very well there. Get full up. And get the single bail if you're onto New Holland. You guys are probably thinking, use this tractor, it's perfect. Well, nah. It's perfect for bail wrapping, but probably not for moving bales, so. Yeah, I have to put the strap over the bales with the bail lifter. And, yeah, it's gonna be some job that. Put on a strap and then pull it upright. I'll have to do that with all the bales. Nip sheep seem to be okay. Do I say that? I bet you it's going to be a problem. Let's see. That sheep looks happy enough. Not even scared of me. Hmm, could do some more water. I'll do that on the way back. It's a good job I checked up on them. So this tracker isn't very fast, which is alright, it doesn't have to be. It's not like I'm racing. But funny enough, the owner of it said it's called a Lamborghini Racing. Don't know why it's called that. Never mentioned the model number though. Must have forgot it. So he did say it was called Lamborghini Racing, I don't know why. It just says it, just making the tractor. Oh, now she is. That's, I think that's small number there. Sorry, I've got my door open. 150 electronic speed shift or power shift. Hmm, that might be a model number. 150. 150 horsepower, maybe. So, yeah, the grass is still there. Like, it's trying to grow. It's going to grow eventually. It's not like I'm shouting out to, you know, let it grow. I was very sure that it's just going to do nothing. Because grass doesn't have ears or seeds. See, it's going to be early summer when we plant the corn in our other field. Yep, just put this tractor into the small machinery shed. And it was a good size shed, this, but it's seriously tight for the big machines. So, yep, add this up. There we are. Alright, so should I close the door? Probably, yeah, for security. Yeah, no lock or anything. Doesn't really need one. Anyway, let's get in. Oh, did I turn off the beacon? Did I turn off the beacon? I need to check that. Did I turn it off? Because I did have it on. Goodness me, I haven't. Good job of check because I'm going to get a flat battery. There we go. Seems fine. Right, shut the door. For real this time. There we are. I will have the beacons on the new home, so why not? It's good having the beacons on. So yeah, this is going to be some job. You know, around to put the bales upright with a strap. Hopefully it's strong enough, I really hope so, because if that snaps on me, I have to get one of Harry, because that's the only strap I have. Well, I've got some straps in the trailer, they don't fit properly on the bail lifter. You see, they kind of do, but not, not perfectly, you know, not the way you'd want it. Still can do a few things, but seriously, it's not very safe, because the bail can... Fall back over again with the strap under the bale, so, well, probably not over under the bale, but you know, just beside it. Be a rightly annoyed, so it would be. See, up single bale lifter, I had to go out and buy it. Wasn't too expensive. It was only £500 because it's very small. See, it's just literally that size. But anyway, one bale's upright, but we always do the furthest bale first. The furthest bale. And at least we're putting them into that shed there. In fact, that shed might have been a bit better. 
that we shed there. Hmm. I'll just go with the shed he told me to put them in. I'm not going to argue or anything. Because if I argue, I'm just going to get fired. Right. That'll work. Right, good. I'll have to keep my door open now. So, strap stop perfectly on. Not properly, but it'll be fine. In fact, I'll just open my door because I did shut it. There we go. There we go. Right, lower it. Get out again. Take off the strap. It's not perfectly on. It doesn't need a strap on again, you know, because it's only a short distance. I only put on the straps just to play it safe. You know, if I'm transporting them like a long distance, like same a cow farm. From here, it's a good, probably nearly a mile, probably, I'm not sure. But it's a good distance away. So that's why I always put on the strap. Just to play it safe. Let's hopefully that's close enough. I don't want to go too close. Okay. So yeah. I'll see you guys when this is done. Alright guys. So we've finished bringing in the round bales. You can see I'm on the Massey Ferguson. Well what I'm doing. And you can also see a path work. So what I'm doing. Is I'm going to bring the sticks around the pallets. Yeah, I've loaded up one pallet. I was going to put in the bail lifter and then I thought, what a stupid idea that is. So yeah, I didn't put it on. Yeah, I can't show you the bales, I'll have to go in the car though, because going in the tractor is quite slow. I can take my Lizard Continental. That car's real nice with us. Yeah, I don't think I'll need a strap. Well, we might put one on. Maybe not. Oh. <laughs> it's just jumping about. Anyway, I'll see you guys when it's on. Right, so I managed to get it on. I just had to stop recording because it was difficult holding the camera and trying to get it on at the same time. So, yeah. At least it's now on. And there you go. Good and easy. Otherwise, I'm going to have them straps fail. And, yeah. Go everywhere. So, Harry says he wants them at the front of his house. Did a will do. That stick is moving. Yeah, just basically in front of the shed. Just as firewood. So, yep, I'll get this off now. Right, guys, so I had to kind of give up on the pallet idea because, well, just had to, that's all. So, yep. These are the last load of sticks. And this tractor is right up to its limit. So you know the blue pallets are now gone. In his shed now. He says there's no vehicles in the shed whatsoever. He only uses one door. Is there one door? He said one door. But I don't see any one door. There. Doesn't matter. Whatever he says. I don't mind about. So, yep, these are his sticks. He can lend me some if he if I need any. Hopefully I don't. Goodness me, is this gonna be a full stack? Goodness me, it will be. Only if it stays up. Yep, nothing else, just this one. Fell. Quite early. I didn't move really all but no. Just fell off the pallet fork. But there we go. There we are. That was one big stack. But anyway guys, you're probably wanting to see the bales up there. Well I'll get my Lizard Continental, my nice new car. Yeah, I don't know when the owners are going to move in. You know, if the rented house I'm renting. You know, I'm renting it to people. Don't know when the new people are coming. I have no idea. I'll have to just wait and see. But yeah, these. I've actually applied for a job, you know, in the forest. These people are wanting 
an extra worker. I'll show you it in the next vlog. They're wanting for an, wanting an extra worker, like an hour worker. And that's me. And they're hoping I have a trailer. Like just any trailer, so might as well bring the tractor one. Plus it is a forest after all. What could we put in it? Wood chips? I guess. I don't know if they do wood chips. Never mentioned. But anyway, the tractor will be alright here. Shut the door a bit. Perfect. Right. Shut the gates. That over. And stuff. I have to do it easy so I don't damage the wood. There we are. Yeah, an extra bit of fencing was already here. Gotta say, it's not really lined up too good, but it's alright. So here's our car once again, the American Classic. And you probably saw, guys, that my bin was out. It's bin day. You probably didn't. No, you didn't. No. My bin's not out yet. No. These two bins are both full of dirt. Even I can't even lift. I can't even lift them without having to stab them. Then I can't really put the strap on the pallet fork either. Or the bail spike or anything. Because the strap will just snap. It's not designed to, you know, carry stuff. It's supposed to hold stuff on. Yeah, we'll go nice and fast on this road. You know, at the straight parts, obviously. Shouldn't meet up with any tractors. This road is always silent. It's always very quiet here. That field has not started growing yet. I'm sure it soon will. I'm not in any rush for it to grow. Well, the gate is open. May as well stay open then. I'm trying to manoeuvre around here. There we are. Spin round. So you can see there, guys, that's where I put in the bales. See it? Nicely on so they are. Nicely in. Yeah, they'll be used as cow feed at some point, otherwise being taken to BGA. Bring an end to this vlog here guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.